Hi and welcome, in today's video I'm going to show you the most important and exciting things coming to Lost Ark in 2023. All of this was revealed in today's Loa On, which is the place where we get info regarding the future of Lost Ark. This is a big event held yearly in Korea, where they present their plans, big changes, new additions, etc. Um, to Lost Ark. Without further ado, a huge shout out to Mr. Golden River, which was uh, there, made his appearance to say hi to everyone. Um, and starting with important things probably the coolest things announced, uh, which are three new classes. We already knew about the female berserker, which is called Slayer. They also had a trailer for that, so let's watch it. Then we have a new assassin class called the Soul Eater. This one doesn't control the power of the demon, but actually harnesses it. So I think it's going to be a pretty interesting gameplay for this class. And then lastly, they also announced a new gender unlock class, which is the male scrapper. Uh, just because they felt there is not enough male classes coming out to Lost Ark, just like you guys are feeling very often. Um, at least now we have a male scrapper on its way sometime in 2023 then we talked about class balance which continues in january for the korean region and uh, afterwards for us as well they also talked about balance patch cadence which will be on a four to five month cycle this is pretty nice and i think it's um, it, it's actually really good for an mmorpg to have balance patches so often during the year new continent voldis which also has a new abyssal dungeon um, voldis also holds the key to new progression in Lost Ark and it appears to be through a new system called the Elixir system which improves attributes of your character like extra boss damage etc. We don't know much about this but it's a feature that's coming to the game in 2023 which will allow further progression, further power gain for your character. Another new continent called Kurzan. this is the place where the Chain War story starts um, they said they're going to have many cinematic dungeons as you progress with your story through Kurzan. 2023 also brings the Inferno version of the Legion Raid Belshazzar. I know we just received this in normal mode, uh, but something to look forward to. And people in the West were also worried that there's going to be six gates that they have to do Inferno and go through that deathless. Um, however, the devs decided that just gate 5 and 6 are going to be part of Shaza Inferno mode. So something pretty nice to look forward to. I bet it's going to be very difficult, but at least it's just two gates to go through as opposed to six uh, for, a, for a future Deathless title, right? Uh, on top of that, we're also getting Inferno mode for Hanumatan. Hanumatan is a Guardian raid that we don't have yet. It's a 1520 uh, piece of content. And uh, the same as Achates, which we do have an Hell mode for or Inferno mode for. Um, Hanumatan is going to have one in 2020. 23. A new Guardian raid, the Gargadith. Um, we also have a trailer for this, so let's take a look.
in terms of legion raids we're going to get the opportunity to fight Feymine. Um, the devs said that this is going to be very hard not only mechanically but also the environment somehow is going to make it feel um, as a hard content to do they also mentioned that even though it's going to be very hard at first it is going to get nerfed once many people have finished it just because they want it to be part of a pleasant weekly experience as opposed to a continuously inferno like mode um, that you have to that you feel obliged to clear on a weekly basis all siderials will be available in uh, Thaymine as far as I understand um, um, as opposed to just uh, three which is a pretty interesting concept after Thaymine because the Korean players was were thinking or were, were wondering what's what comes after Thaymine uh, Legion Raid um, there's going to be Kazeros afterwards uh, there is just we just have an image of um, the place where Kazeros is located at uh, this looks very similar to an Aeon picture with the abyss by the way uh, just saying it just came to my mind graphics improvement was also something that was highlighted due during today's law on um, and the changes are i would say quite beautiful we also have a trailer for this take a look This is easily something that could potentially come out to the West sooner rather than waiting a long time uh, after Korea gets it. MVP changes for support players. Um, we were actually talking on in my latest last stream on Twitch uh, about support players. And again, with new content comes sort of a feeling of a shortage of supports for that new content. And uh, people were, were saying that if, they, if it would be a bit more rewarding for support players, or if I could see how much I'm contributing to the party's damage, I would play one. So uh, the new changes to the MVP system are exactly that. Supports can now see a little bit more as to how much did they actually participate in the total damage uh, of the team by just them being there with their support buffs. And speaking about supports, the devs also mentioned that they're gonna look into adjusting the damage that support players do in solo content so that they can feel happier playing that particular content. Uh, so another big plus for support players. Several quality of life improvements, um, better overview for bracelets for example, which is something that I really hope is going to come very shortly after after Korea to our version as well because people are um, pretty confused uh, in more inventory space for content materials like legion raids for example and abyssal dungeons all of these horns and scales are going to be stored um, um, in their own uh, in their own section legendary skins by the way the third iteration of them are coming to korea in 2023 i know that we haven't even received the first uh, iteration yet because they're still working on a system that would be more appropriate for our, our audience as opposed to the randomness again of yours's jar um, so looking forward to to that but just saying this season three version has also has an animated trail that your character leaves behind as you're walking um, which is a super cool idea something new to lost ark um, in terms of equipping a skin and having um, you know a, a trade i know it's not new in mmorpgs but i'm really happy that it's going to be present in lost ark uh, at least in uh, in uh, in the future for us as well we have a new horizontal content uh, primal island and also the league slash uh, dota uh, game modes within Lost Ark. Um, there's it's it's with towers and mobs, and you have like five in-game skills um, redone to fit this game mode, but very similar to MOBAs, right? How you would use the skills there. You can pick any class that you want. Class from Lost Ark, by the way, even if you don't have that class on your roster, same as you pick your heroes in 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 Dota, in League, etc. And you can just play versus a, another team of whatever it's going to be four or five people um pretty interesting i'm actually looking forward to this particular mode I, i'm i'm personally a little bit worried that there's not enough time to enjoy all of this in lost ark on top of what a normal player would actually 
uh, be doing in game on a daily or weekly basis however by the time we're gonna get these game modes maybe we're gonna be more in the clear in terms of uh, this speedy progression to catch up to what um, the game has to offer right now in korea at end game uh, which is fine but i'm just saying that uh, I, I really hope we're gonna have time uh, for this as well uh, then uh, they uh, uh, talked about the third awakening skill which is something that uh, many korean players at least were expecting or waiting uh, for their characters these are going to be different than the current awakening skills as in you can only use it once and also there's special camera um, movements as you use it they have a trailer they showed uh, a couple of awakenings so uh, we can take a look at that And lastly, something that I think has the potential to strike a good note with the Western audience is the fact that the devs mentioned to look into adding skins for the transformation of the Shadow Hunter and the Machinist. So when you are in demon form, you will be able to have a skin for that period of time, for that demon form um, that you can choose. What that these skins might be or how they might look, we don't know yet, but right now there's a big debate on the forums as to why we got a different version of the Shadow Hunter transformation than Korea did. So maybe, maybe there's a chance that reskinning that version uh, will help players that don't like the current version feel better um, about it by uh, by using a skin the same goes for the iron man suit for example it can actually be an iron man suit maybe they can do a collab uh, with the uh, iron man um, movies uh, same as they did with the witcher where i'm actually iron man when i'm a machinist in transformation mode uh, other than that i uh, wish you have lots of fun in lost ark i'm gonna see you really soon either in my next stream on twitch or here on youtube in my next video Are you